I'm Danielle. I'm Celeste. We are the co-founders of the Somatica Institute of Sex and Relationship Coaching. The Somatica Method is an experiential method that's both practical and vulnerably connected, and we help people have the most profoundly sexy and intimate relationships possible. We create a relationship lab in the room when clients are able to practice with the practitioner different aspects around relationship and sexuality, from emotional connection, uh, visiting the inner child, and developing sexual skills. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good, good to have you here. Thank you. Yeah. How do you feel? I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I've had a few more stressors in my life than normal the past couple of weeks, so mm -hmm. it's taken me a little longer to get grounded, but I'm okay. all right. Good. <laughs> it's good. It's kind of also very relevant to what we started to talk about in our conversation before, right? Mm -hmm. Which was very much about attunement, yeah. right? And how do you start to connect with someone else while you have all your things going on, <laughs> right? So right. it feels very relevant, yeah. So do you want to talk a little bit about your experience around that? Yeah, I feel that I do very well when I have connection. Mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty in tune with myself and I can be in tune with people once there's an anchor point that I'm safe in and comfortable in. Mm -hmm. um, but in new situations, especially like with a lot going on, like a group setting or, or party or lots of people, I'm much better one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. It can be overwhelming and getting that sort of inertia um, out of the way to make that initial connection is hard. Yeah. Um, and uh, so oftentimes it feels like the activation energy is just too much to try. <laughs> so it's like, uh, I'll stay in my safe space. Yeah, is it worth it? Not worth it? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. I kind of, as you were talking, I was thinking about the activation energy. I really, I can see that about you. And I'm like that too. You know, many times I'm just like, mm, the activation energy. <laughs> <laughs> Do I really want to start the whole experience? Is it worth it? It's a lot of work to do the small talk with people, huh? Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. The small talk is so exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like, I mean, when you get going, you have things to say, but when you're preemptively trying to come up with something, you're like, I don't want to talk yeah. about sports or the weather yeah. or whatever. Like, it's like, how do I be, there's self-judgment, you know? Like, how do I be interesting enough to be worthy of a conversation? Mm. Um, and when I don't know what someone else is into, then there's a lot of unknown there. And when yeah. I do, it's like, oh, well, A, B, or C, like, we're yeah, safe, we're in a good yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah. That initial fear is real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, why would they want to talk to me? That's the initial fear, right? Like, yeah. will I be interesting enough? Or am I bothering them is often yeah. that, that side of it. It's like, don't mm -hmm. they have more interesting things to do? Yeah. Um, that's why, harsher than I actually feel, but yeah, like that. Like, that why, why would they? <laughs> <laughs> it's something more interesting to do than talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Mm. I'm, I'm, I wasn't actually joking. <laughs> oh. I'm just thinking, you know, I wanted to imagine for a second, like, because what I'm hearing, there's a lot of distraction in the way for you to kind of showing up because there's a lot of thoughts whether, you know, like, is this person going to think I'm interesting enough? Is there, are they occupied with other conversations? So where am I, like, where am I to, like, interrupt and intervene? Right. Where do I fit in? Where do I fit in, yeah. right? And I just want us to experiment with that a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and I want you to notice when you have this conversation with, your, with yourself about where, where do I fit in? Where does this conversation happen? In, in your body, where is it? Uh, it's very cerebral. Very it's, cerebral. It's not super connected to the body. It's more right? in, in my head. Yeah. yeah. And you can even notice this side says one thing, the other side says the other thing. Like, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, and the converse is true. Is when my body is comfortable, it's easier to slip into mm -hmm. whatever because there's less thinking and more doing. Yeah. Yeah. And the truth is that attunement is actually a body action. It's all about the body, the full experience between 
your brain and your body getting in touch with whatever is happening, right? So I want to invite you to experiment here with me, mm -hmm. okay, and see what would it be like to actually kind of let yourself connect with me from a place of your whole body, not just am I bothering her with my <laughs> choices of topics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see, how would that feel like? Okay, so usually when you get connected with your body, how do you do that? Um, I'm very touch-centric. Mm. Um, so like love language, I'm like, Two thirds touch. <laughs> yeah. So, so dang it, you know, you can't just like start mushing. Right, right, right. right, right. right. Yeah. So um, how do you get connected? Yeah. Otherwise, let's um, think about it. Kind of. Well, I, I think it's feeling that that comfort level of so if I'm, you know, the temperature is okay and like I'm not activated, I don't have like I'm not physically nervous and like uh -huh, that kind of stuff, uh -huh. if I can just sort of exist yeah. um, and settle in. Yeah. I don't know the phrasing on that, but like... Yeah. I uh, want to go beyond just existing, if you don't want <laughs> yeah, For sure. But that, that, that's, yeah, the, that's, that's the, first the starting level. point. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's a good question. I don't... I haven't thought about that too much on what actually happens with the body mm -hmm. when I connect. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a... Feedback loops are very strong for me, so when I get energy back that that fills me and that makes me feel safe. Yeah. Um, but it's that getting that loop going that yeah. Yeah. I'm more fuzzy on. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing a lot about like you kind of need the other person to already like accept you or to show some signs of I know you, I feel comfortable with you, or we have something in common to feel, to relax. Right. So my normal plan is to just to stay in their space for a while until that naturally happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's not always <laughs> the best plan. Which is a good, it's a good strategy, you know, to start <clears throat> with, right? Like, it's good to start with, like, okay, I'm going to stand here. People are going to start warming up to my presence in the right. room, right? <laughs> yeah. So I want to help you shortcut the process so you'll be able to actually feel like, oh, I can, like, walk in and feel really comfortable as I walk in and then the warm-up is going to happen and you know it is true not everyone's gonna you know for me I was shocked when I heard that not everyone's gonna like to hang out <laughs> with me I was like what <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> right but it is possible you mm -hmm. know but in spite of that there's something about like oh like I'm just gonna enjoy being here and whatever's gonna happen is going to happen mm -hmm. right so that's why that's why I was kind of teasing at the beginning. I wanted to be beyond just surviving. I wanted to go into pleasure because pleasure is a really strong motivator, mm -hmm. right? And it's a, it, and you know, like helping you to settle into it can be so awesome to stand in, in a party instead of feeling awkward to feel like, mm, I'm going to feel pleasure. I'm going to enjoy myself here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to start to develop is more like circuits that happen inside yourself instead of circuits that happen with the other person, okay? Which is funny because attunement seems like it would be something that happens with someone here, <laughs> right. right? But attunement doesn't really happen if you don't have a landing space inside you, mm -hmm. right? It has to start with you having some place that you can get receiving, you know, like get the messages that happen from the other person. Right. Hmm. So I'm just going to invite you to take on a, a few breaths inside, and you can close your eyes if you want to. And see if the breath helps you find some nice, like we'll start with calming spaces inside you, as opposed to nervousness, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe in the next breath, even pleasurable places inside you, if you can feel sensations of pleasure and delight as you're breathing down. And you might need to breathe all the way down to your pelvic floor, all the way down to your belly. 
So what's the smile? <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, awesome. Mm -hmm. It's great because the minute you start breathing, I immediately felt connection with you right away on the spot. And this like sm delighted <laughs> smile showed up. I was like, oh, I want to know what he's thinking. <laughs> And you notice how it also kind of shortcuts the worry. Yeah. There's no room to worry because you're just like much more in your body, huh? Mm -hmm. So now what comes up to you, to your mind, what's happening? I guess just the, it feels like there's a next step, but I'm not sure what it is. Mm. Because what I notice is that you start to think and worry. <laughs> <laughs> and I wondered about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I don't know what's the next step. Mm -hmm. And I don't want you to need to know what the next step, because if you like needing to know the next step, you actually can't be in the moment. Right. You're already like thinking about the future. Just right? let it flow. Yeah, let it flow. Because I don't know what we can like co-create here, mm -hmm. right? But it was very clear to me the minute you start to think that I lost, this, I couldn't relate. Mm. Did you notice it too? Because it's important for me that you'll notice the differences between you are connected. Yeah, I wouldn't say that I went completely away, but it was sort of at a peak and then came down. So I'm right. Not, yeah. Are you worried that if you're just going to be inside, you're not going to be connected with me on the outside? No. Okay. No, it was, it was more just jumping a couple of steps ahead. And okay. <laughs> focusing on that instead of this. Mm hmm yeah, not really fear, though. No. Yeah, good. So let yourself go inside. What are you noticing? Just your smile and the subtle mm -hmm. cues that you're paying attention to me. Mm -hmm. Does it feel good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Feels good to be seen. Mm -hmm. It does, huh? Yeah. yeah. Do you also notice that I'm actually not stepping outside of myself to be with you, right? Mm -hmm. we actually, it's a very subtle experience of me being with myself and also with you, right? Kind of keeping it open, mm -hmm. seeing where it goes, you know? Mm. Mm. Now I start to feel like <laughs> some aliveness here, huh? Mm -hmm. So I think both you and I feel probably more comfortable in the nonverbal space, mm -hmm. right? Like we could sit here and just like have an experience without talking, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I can talk, but then I get into the brain space again. Yeah. So, so that's the next. That's the next step to see how <laughs> you can talk and stay connected to your body mm -hmm. and to your experience in your body. I just wanted to notice that, imagine that you 
there were no expectations for you to perform anyway. Like, you don't need to say anything smart, you don't need to do anything outrageous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like, if you could just let yourself say whatever you feel in the moment. Mm. Whatever is just showing up. Yeah. What's going on? Or what am I feeling? I'm. And I want to know. Take your time. Take your time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, just I, seeing the brain body conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, mean, I don't have a destination. I just want to know you. Mm. That's. That's where my mind goes. Mm. No, this would be a good seduction line for me. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know you. Yeah. Tell me your buttons. Mm. <laughs> but I can push them. Mm. Can I put my hand on your leg? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's somewhat of a cheap code for me because now I feel. Oh, you got it. So. Great. So it's good. I, I'm glad that you know what you need. Okay. So there's something that you needed in order to feel more connected to me. And this was like touch. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Let's think about opportunities in the party because we already like much more intimate here. Right. How would you get this touch in a party? Because usually, unless you're sitting with someone. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know that I'd need it, it just accentuates. So like hugs or that initial greeting connection, like uh -huh. if that can kind of simmer, that's a good grounding for uh -huh. me. Um, mm, notice how much more grounded you are. It's yeah. like so sexy. <laughs> I just feel it all the way through my pussy. Mm -hmm. It feels really good. Okay. Yeah. Mm. But with new people, this feels like it might be an imposition, you know? Like I'm a new person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just met. True. But I asked and you said yes, and that was... Okay. That set the clarity. The tone. Right. Yeah. So... Hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's something about me saying yes feels like it gave you a big permission. Yeah. Because I just said yes to this. I didn't say oh, yes Oh, it doesn't to need everything. to be anything else. Yeah. Like yeah, just, yeah, just yeah. the little. The little in. You yeah, needed exactly. like a little in. Right. Yeah. It doesn't need to be a big thing. It doesn't need to promise anything else. Mm -hmm. Just a yes. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm just thinking it's such an opportunity to see what, what, if, what if you didn't ask for it? Like I want, I want it because, you know, it was fast and I'm comfortable. Yeah. Right. What would it be like if you didn't get this yes from me yet? How would you he'll still be here? Yeah, you still be here. So <laughs> how would you feel more comfortable coming in and actually? Do you see how you got like so much resistance? Don't go, please. Stay. <laughs> okay, we have two modes. I got it. So we have the resistant mode, and we have the really I have to touch you. <laughs> and we need something in the middle, in the middle here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because most people, it will be a big leap for them. To move from, mm, I feel rejected, I don't know what, whether you want me or not, into, I asked a quick yes, and yeah. So I want us to do this escalation for you, mm -hmm. to see how you get to a good, solid, right. yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So I just have to go back into the inside. Mm -hmm. And I want you to actually imagine that there is a yes. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because people kind of actually mostly want to connect, right? So I wanted to come, like, take a few steps with this experience of, like, oh, she really is looking forward to connect with me. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of that might be just shifting yeah. towards you and then. You don't even need to come to me, you just need to not go away from me. Right. Um, and I just wanted to do it with your body because you're thinking it out. Mm -hmm. And it felt a little bit less fluent mm. and flowing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let yourself check it out. Yeah, okay, here you are. 
Do you notice the differences between when you're doing something without being connecting to your body? Like probably here, right? This is the connection place, right? Yeah. As opposed to when you do it and you are connected, do you feel the difference? In retrospect, yes. In the moment, no. no. Always. Right. Yeah. Well, retrospect is the beginning, right? You start by noticing in retrospect, and then you start to, oh, that feels much better. Mm -hmm. What felt better? Just check it out. What feels better? To come from here? The... Or to come from a more heady place? Oh, no, this feels way better. Yeah. yeah. Right? What's activated in your body that feels better? My chest is kind of expanded, mm -hmm. um, and I just sort of feel open, like almost vulnerable, but in a not scary way. Mm -hmm. so. Kind of excited. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. Feels good. Mm -hmm. What about your belly? How does how does it feel in there? I'm not super connected to my belly. It's more. It's more your chest. More chest. What about your cock? That's a little excited. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> How did you skip your belly? Uh, <laughs> <I'm> curious. Uh, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so what's happening to me when you are doing that? When you're just like being present next to me and you kind of, what I feel is that you're waiting for me to come to you. Yeah. And it feels really good. Oh, good. It doesn't... Okay. It actually feels really good because it feels like, like my initial response was, I want to do this. Mm-hmm. Right? I want to touch you because it doesn't feel like you're going to impose anything on me and it feels like you're giving me permission. You're give, creating the invitation and I just want to come closer mm. to you. Good. Mm. How does that feel? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Makes me want to <laughs> get closer, <laughs> but mm -hmm. I like it. And if we were other people that needed to talk, we don't need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Both of us are much more body people, right? Mm -hmm. I said that already, but. Let's see what it would be like to actually talk about casual things without worrying about what we're saying. It's more like the conversation that happens between us is beyond the words we can blah, blah, blah. Right. <laughs> Say the <clears throat> words, but actually our bodies are the ones that are talking. Mm -hmm. So for that, you really want to hold your erotic energy inside and feel it while you're talking to me. Or you can just talk about what you feel in the moment without... Mm. Yeah, feeling connected and safe and mm. warm. Mm. I feel connected too. And I'm kind of ready for more already. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> You didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you seemed open and receptive. Uh huh. But yeah, again, I, I don't know where that leads. But. Uh, right. Where do you want it to lead? Mm, I want to. I want to take a little. <laughs> if you're offering. <laughs> <clears throat> uh huh. Mm hmm. Right. It's interesting because you, you kind of told me that you are you love to be a dom. I like lots of things, but that is definitely part of it, yeah. What? Specifically, tell me. Um, Doming? Dominating? Doming, or, or, I mean, it's the feedback loop again. It's the flash of someone who, I'm a service top. Uh -huh. But when someone feeds back off of me pushing them, then that fills me. That makes me excited. That yeah. makes me want to find out what edge they want to play on and then play with them on that edge. Because mm -hmm. then you get the adrenaline and the excitement <laughs> and that's fun and I love it. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. So the attunement for you is a really great tool because you can just like sit and wait a little bit and make them come to you, right? Build some anticipation. Build some anticipation, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would love you to give me a little less permission mm -hmm. and tell me wait for me less and tell me a little bit more what you would want to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to be more in your space. Mm -hmm. Just kind of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bringing you toward me. Mm -hmm. feeling you, feel your warmth. Mm. Feel you mm. breathing. So let's do it with attunement now. Sounds good? Yeah. Yeah. Good. I would love that. So I wanted to say it because the attunement, you're going to get this the yes for me. We're doing a little bit like escalation with consent here, mm -hmm. right? So the way you're kind of waiting for me, I'm waiting for you, where are we moving, right? I think most of the time, if you're mostly playing with women, they would want you to lead, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. They would want you to lead. And at the same time, you want to make sure that they want what you have to offer. Exactly. Right? Yes. Like this, like negotiation that happens so unclearly, right? Yeah. So it would be really awesome. The, the way, like for me, if, one way to do it would be if you could tell me what you want to do, but then wait, and I'll just go right in. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that creates room for consent. Right. And attunement to really check that, um, is she in it or not? But you need to say it in the way that you really want it. Otherwise, I wouldn't feel it. Right. And then I was like, mm, I don't know, he's saying something, but I don't know what mm. he really wants it, or doesn't really want it, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Now I know you want it. I do. You have this like, spark in your <laughs> eyes when you do. I, I, you know, I totally missed it when you went straight for mm. it. Okay. And this is, for me, part of the flame. That's what really turns me on, is to see the desire in your eyes. Uh-huh. Mm. I just want to, like, pull your hair and you into me and yes make your eyes flutter like that that is my right there that's me that's that's what I want right there I just want to take that and revel in that and live in that and make you shiver and make you squirm you already are and making you shiver and squirm that's really odd I love it that feels so good right there Mm. 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 Oh. Here with me. Right here feels so. Oh. Oh. Thanks. I just want to melt in your hands. Oh. Don't stop. <laughs> 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 yeah. Felt really good. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh, it just uh You were like checking with me if it's, a little it was bit. okay. Yeah. I'm curious but what in you did not feel that it was okay? No, I it felt okay actually. Yeah, it was more yeah. my own like yeah, I, I don't know. It, it, it felt good, but it almost felt like... Like we finished one round yeah, of energy. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. And I just wanted to check in and see where you yeah. are. Where good. You so are let's at. do it without breaking, because what happened now is you broke it, mm -hmm. and I just like... Mm. Right, now you're back to normal. I need to build my energy again, okay? Mm -hmm. So part of me is that that was awesome and I was really turned on and I think you got all the cues from me right? the yeah. shivers <laughs> right uh -huh. my eyes were like closed and rolling mm -hmm. <laughs> right if you were to not break it and keep escalating because you got a consent from me yeah from my body right I, did you need more consent not consent per se just wasn't sure where to go next I guess okay. where do you want to go 
I'll throw you around a little bit. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> I love that. Okay. Uh-huh. I would love you to follow your desire. Mm-hmm. I'm curious. If there's something that I would not want, I will. I promise to tell you. Yes. And I can use a safe word or, you know, like, I can say stop or... Red's good. Red's good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So and even if it's going to be too quick for me, I'll, t- I'll say yeah. yellow, mm-hmm. and we'll slow down, okay? Sounds good. Mm. You. Mm. <laughs> you. When you do that eye thing, that mm. just fills my soul right there. Oh, my like, God. I love all of your reaction, but, like, that in particular. Mm. And I want that. Oh and I God. need that. Mm. And... When you say that, yeah. I'm so turned on. It feels so hot. Okay. I feel so validated and seen mm-hmm. and wanted. It's everything that I want. You got me. Because okay. <laughs> I want to give you what you want. Mm. And I want to take what I want. Mm. And when they're the same thing, when, it's when. so <laughs> fucking good. Oh. Oh. Have you? Oh. I can feel you. Uh, uh, Just uh, with me. Let yourself go. You don't need to think about anything. uh, I have you. uh, Right here. Right now. uh, Just be with me. Thank you. You can throw me around a little more. Yeah? Yeah. The catch is not ideal, but... (laughs) Mm. So, I feel like you are... I don't want it to pull back. Mm-hmm. I want it to like, keep going. Mm-hmm. And you have my big yes now. <laughs> <laughs> it will actually feel very attuned to me if I feel like you giving us a permission to keep going more. Okay. And we can use the couch. You can throw me around. You can push me. I can show you how to push me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want me to show you? First? Yeah, that'd be fun. Mm-hmm. Well, here you yeah. go. Okay. <laughs> mm. Kill the couch. Press. Mm-hmm. I'm using my body. Mm-hmm. Uh. Mm. You can use your force and throw me around. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not delicate. No. Mm-hmm. Just take over. Oh, yes. You showed me what you wanted. <laughs> to tell me what you want to do to me mm. right here. <laughs> <laughs> Just take you. How? Make you scream. Make you moan. Just hold you down and bury my face in your pussy and just make you come and come and come until your horse is shaking and can't think about a goddamn thing. Because you're just feeling me and my need and my want. And that's your world. That's all you need. I want that. Yeah? Yeah. Just oh, I can push harder. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh. 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 
Uh, you want to. <laughs> I love it to yeah. like rub my ass too. Yeah. <laughs> place to be in. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That felt really good. Like I felt like you like when you gave us a permission to like go for what you wanted, it felt really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was really turned on. <laughs> good. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I feel I need my cold shower. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> Good. Wow. <laughs> that was amazing. How are you feeling right now? So alive. Mm -hmm. I feel really good. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about how that aliveness feels inside? Yeah, um, it's like adrenaline. Like my whole body feels energized. Mm. Um, not like scary fight or flight adrenaline, but like Christmas morning adrenaline or mm. birthday party or I just got a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> yeah. um, you're glowing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What did you just learn in that session? Um, I mean, I think there's two aspects. The, the main one is just being more in tune with my body. Mm -hmm. Like, I tend to be cerebral and it gets in the way, so my instincts are good. Mm -hmm. So just trust myself a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And the second being is giving myself permission, right? Like, mm -hmm. what's the worst that can happen? You get rejected. Mm. Oh darn, happens all the time, it's fine. You mm. move on. Mm -hmm. But when you connect, when you when you find that, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> so um, good. Mm, I just need to take more risks. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. How do you imagine you might take this forward in the world? Um, I mean, I think some, most of it's just practice, right? Like, put myself in and situate, well, they come up plenty often, but like, just do the thing and then think about how my body felt in the moment and then hopefully I'll attune enough that in the future I will feel it as I'm doing it as opposed to retroactively. Um, mm. Yeah, I think I still need to practice that, the hows a little bit, but when you're in tune, that just comes much more naturally and it'll be easier. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. You played with that a bit. Right, mm -hmm. noticed as a moment. What did what were you feeling or noticing when Danielle kind of she paused you, right? Mm -hmm. what well, she was picking up when I was getting out of my body and into my head, mm -hmm. um, and just sort of regrounding. Mm -hmm. Fixed that a lot. Mm -hmm. How did so, you reground? 
um, well, some of it was with touch with her, and uh -huh. some of it was just sort of breathing and focusing on myself and what I was feeling, yeah. and get just getting out of my head. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really good awareness. <laughs> yeah, any other things that you want to share that you, you're taking away? I mean, it's just impressive how turned on and how hot things can be that are, I mean, they're sexual, but they're like in, in a more limited form, they can get all the way turned on, which I know, but like having it actualized that dramatically was like, oh God, when she fluttered her eyes, uh -huh. like <laughs> that just spoke to my soul. That was amazing. Uh -huh. And I want to do that more. Nice. <laughs> cool. Can't wait to see how that goes for you. Thank you. I'm excited. <laughs> that was so fun to watch. How did it feel working with Kuster? It was awesome. It was very exciting. Uh, I loved the. Uh, I loved kind of moving from attunement and like being in the body into like full on makeout session. Mm -hmm. It was so hot. <laughs> I really enjoy it. Sometimes I can't believe it's my job. I know. <laughs> I love to watch you get sexy. It's really fun. <laughs> You're very subtle, and then suddenly <laughs> she comes out. <laughs> um, Thank you. <laughs> I really love the way that you kept guiding Christer. Like, you kept coming back to his body, and those moments when he would pull back, and then you kept saying, no, that's like... Can't you tell that I'm ready? Keep coming, keep coming. And yeah. then he really got it. Because mm -hmm. yeah. I, I felt like for Krista and, I, and many men out there, they like hold themselves back when actually there is a yes on the other side. And I wanted to help him see that there was a yes on the other side and kind of trust that he, you know, like he needs to lead the way. Because it's rare that women are gonna say like, "Hey, I want you on top of me," you know. <laughs> I want you to tell me how, <laughs> you know, like what you want to do to me. But so this was more like verbalizing my thoughts, so he could like learn from that and be able to take it to the world. And I know, I think he said or you said that he's a service top, meaning that he really wants to find out what you want and give it to you. And but I know also what you want is to feel his authentic desire and yes. him doing what he wants. And so I felt like when he shifted into that gear, you know, then you just had a couple of little, okay, now grab my ass. But, but overall, like he was really bringing himself and that was what was super arousing to you. Yeah, totally. Because I do like to say to my partners what I want, right? Yeah. So. But or just even like take their, take hand their and hands and <laughs> grab it. <laughs> yeah. That was super hot. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I'm trying to be someone.